Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new, my name is Allie. I have two babies. I have a two-year-old son and a daughter who is about to turn eight months old. I make a lot of motherhood content and vlogs. So if you like that, please subscribe. But today's video is going to be a baby must-have essential video specifically for the three to six month age right after they're done being a newborn when they start to get really wiggly and movey and start rolling over and sitting up. Ren is seven months now. She's about to turn eight months old. So I feel like this is all still really fresh in my mind. Also, right around this time, right around four to five to six months old is usually at the time that people start starting solids with their babies. I'm gonna make an entire other video all about my favorite products for starting solids and all of my like tips and life hacks for that as well. So keep an eye out for that, but I'm not gonna mention a lot of food related feeding items in this video. I also have a video all about my newborn must haves and I also have a video all about toddler must haves. I will link those down below and in the cards too if you guys wanna check those out as well. I'm gonna start off with a few sleep related items. This is also in that time period where you're supposed to stop swaddling your baby. My absolute favorite product with both babies to transition from the swaddle is the Merlin Magic Sleep Suit. This little space suit thing is a lifesaver. This is like the wintertime one, so it's fleece and it's extra fluffy, but they make another one too that's cotton. It doesn't get quite as hot if your baby needs this in the summer. It looks like this. It's so thick and fluffy that it really softens their like reflexes and also the shape that the arm is sewn in on it prevents them from being able to like slap themselves in the face too much until they get like a little bit stronger but it really is going to soften a lot of their movements so that they don't wake themselves up as much since it is so hard for poor babies to go from like you know being tightly swaddled with their arms down to kind of like learning how to sleep with their arms being free so this is an amazing transition step but then when they are done with the magic sleep suit and it's time to move on to a sleep sack if you guys follow me you know that i am constantly raving about these but like i am so obsessed with the kite baby sleep sacks i think that they're worth every penny they're definitely a little bit more of a pricey sleep sack on the market but they're so worth it because they last so, so long and they're just so comfortable. We definitely tried a few other sleep sacks when my son was little trying to find the right one. And then after we found the Kite Baby one, it's all we use for both babies. It's just a very classic sleep sack. This one is a little bit bigger. This is the six to 18 month size. It's so big. This fits both my eight month old and my two year old. They come in a bunch of different thickness and warmth options. And I like to buy them all in these nice like gender neutral colors. That way both my kids can use them. Another sleep related item is a portable sound machine. I also recommend that they sleep with a sound machine all the time anyway, but I wanted to specifically talk about a portable one because this helps so much if you need to have your baby napping on the go. I always bring this with if our daughter needs to take a nap in the car on the way to go somewhere, or if I know we're gonna be somewhere like right around her nap time and I know she's gonna need to sleep. This just always comes in handy because it's such a sleep cue for her since she does sleep with the sound machine all the time. I'll just clip this to her car seat or her stroller or wherever, try to put a blanket over her so it's a little bit darker and this just sends her right to sleep. It's amazing. This one is from Dream Egg, it's just from Amazon. I'll leave a few links for all of our favorite set machines in the description box. The next thing on my list is drool bibs. Both my babies have gotten their first tooth around five to six months, but the teething process starts like a little bit before that. Even if they're not teething, during this age range, they start chewing everything, putting everything in their mouths, and there's just so much drool. Especially with my son, I could not believe what a drooly baby he was. Drool bibs have always been my best friend right around this age, and I have a ton of really affordable favorite ones from Amazon that come in like packs of five, and they're all like really nice. These are my favorite kind, these just like bandana bibs. They're so simple and thin, and you can kind of get different ones to make outfits look extra cute. We also have these ones that kind of fold over and they're more of like a cutesy little accessory type of drool bib. But yes, this is nice that you don't have to change their shirt a million times a day. The next thing on my list is kind of like a product and also kind of just like a piece of advice. And that is outfits that have open Feet. So little like jumpsuits like this that look like jammies that have no feet. These are like one of my favorite things to put babies in at this age and specifically with no feet. This is really, really important in this age range and also beyond that too 
babies develop and learn how to move the best with bare feet it makes sense if you think about it like as an adult if you are laying on the floor trying to like crawl forward is that going to be easier for you to do with a pair of socks on or with bare feet where you can kind of use the grip of your toes and feel what's going on underneath you it's a very very important thing for their development for them to be bare feet so if you're like me and you like to let your baby hang out in their pajamas all day long <laughs> i really recommend having pajamas that have no feet in them because if they're in little footy pajamas it's going to be extra hard for them to learn how to roll how to crawl how to stand this one is just from walmart it's their like modern gerber collection but also if you just want to put your baby in like little pants and onesie just whatever it is make sure that they have bare feet and then my next product on the list is the love every playmat or really just any playmat in general but i really do think that the love everyone is like far superior to most other playmats on the market we had a different one with our son and then when our daughter was born we got the love everyone and the difference is insane it is a much better playmat it is way more stimulating there are so many different things for them to learn and play with it's great to have a safe soft little place to put them so that they can play it helps their development to be able to look around start moving around rolling around and this playmat in particular just has so many different things that really interest them that make them want to roll and look at that or try to grab it or lift their head off of the ground during tummy time to check out what this is over here it is pricey but it is one of those things that you'll be able to use for a long time pass on to multiple kids and then you can always sell it on facebook marketplace when you're done and get some of your money back the next thing i have right here is my boppy pillow this is also in my newborn must-haves for breastfeeding or even bottle feeding it just it's like really great for having some support while you're holding a newborn baby i am still breastfeeding at eight months and so it's still really great for that but it's also so great for right when they're learning how to sit up to just put this around them just in case they do fall over they're not going to whack their head or anything it will catch them it just gives them a little bit of support i also really liked to put this underneath the love every play gem and have her just kind of like laying on it like a pillow and then that way she could kind of look up and play with all of the things hanging from the play gem but yeah if you don't already have a boppy from when your baby was a newborn i still really recommend them i still think it's worth it these are my favorite diapering products for like little baby bottoms just regular old vaseline and these little booty spatulas i used to think that this was the dumbest gimmickiest product ever i was like butt spatula that is so stupid yada 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 and then now this has become one of my favorite baby products ever along with vaseline nothing has worked better for either of my babies than Vaseline for diaper rash. I put this on their bottoms before their bedtime diaper since that's like the longest one they're gonna be in or if they are starting to have any sort of diaper rash at all, I'll put a little bit of this on them and it's gone within the day. And it's so cheap. It's so much cheaper than any diaper rash ointment that you could buy at Target. I highly recommend and it lasts forever. And then this, they all come with little suction cups on the bottom. So if you have like a really squirmy little baby who doesn't wanna sit there for her diaper change, get a scoop of this, suction it to your changing table. And then right when you get to that part, you can just pick it up, put it on their booty and then put it back down and clean it when you're done. And then you don't have anything on your hands. You can do your diaper change super fast. And this just like gets it on their bottom way better than your finger does anyway. And then your hands are clean. I mean, still wash your hands after you change diapers, but like at least you're not covered in stuff. You know what I mean? Next thing on here are pacifier clips. If your baby uses a pacifier, we use pacifiers. And at this age, I always kind of have one clipped to her just in case she needs it. It's also great when we're on the go in the car seat. I know that it's not gonna fall on the floor and get dirty or anything or get lost because pacifiers are expensive these days. These are my two favorite kinds we get these like braided cloth ones on amazon they're really inexpensive and i just throw these in the washing machine to clean them it's super easy and then i also really like these chewable teething type of ones too but also if your baby doesn't take a pacifier and you're on the go and you don't want them to like drop the little toy that they're playing with or something you could always use one of these to like attach it to them or their stroller or their car seat or anything like that next thing here are these little silicone feeders this is one of the only like feeding products i'm going to talk about in this video i feel like i talk about these so much on my channel but they really are just so great my two-year-old still loves these we get so much use out of them and it's just a little silicone feeder that they can chew on it's got little holes up here in the top so you can put ice cubes in here frozen breast milk or formula berries or whatever kind of 
fruit or food. We love these for teething babies. I love to just put a couple of like crushed ice cubes in here and let her chew on that. This is also how I kind of baby step into solids also. When Ren was maybe around like five months old, I would every once in a while just put like a strawberry in here for her to chew on while we were all sitting at the table eating dinner. The only other food related thing I have on this list are puffs. We love puffs in this household. Puffs are amazing, not just for like a little distraction to keep your babies quiet or focused on something, because they are really great for that. If you have like a fussy little baby and you really need to like, I don't know, unload the dishwasher or whatever you're doing, cook dinner. I always will just stick Ren in her high chair with a couple of puffs on her tray and this will keep her occupied for like so long. But they're also really, really great for developing fine motor skills and figuring out how to use their palmer grasp or their pincher grasp and how to feed themselves, bring food to their mouth. So we always have puffs here. We always have a bag of puffs in our diaper bag because they're a good little distraction when you have a fussy baby on the go too. If they are having solids, obviously I'm not recommending these for tiny three month olds, but once they're in that like five to six month age and beyond, these are just so great. Another one of our most used baby products at this age, and that is this little Fisher Price sit me up chair. It's folded right now. It's nice because it can fold down pretty small like this for storage, but then it pops up like this, sits on the floor. This is really great for that age before they can sit up independently, but they really wanna be sitting up and seeing what's going on. This is like an amazing little in-between chair for that. We have loved this so much. We took this on vacation with us when our son was like four or five months old. Before both of my babies were old enough to sit in their high chairs, we always had this thing sitting on our kitchen table during dinner so that they could sit there and see what we were doing and feel involved. Or also I would always put this thing on my kitchen counter while I was cooking supervised obviously this thing has a mean footprint it takes up a lot of space and it's very secure i don't think that they would ever be able to like knock themselves out of it which is why i like this better than a bumbo i see bumbos recommended all the time i have a friend whose baby fell off the kitchen counter in a bumbo because they can move those things they're pretty small they have a small footprint so i really like that this sit me up chair has a much larger one obviously be careful, you wouldn't wanna put your baby anywhere that they wouldn't be safe. This definitely helped so much in that age where they are so fussy because they wanna see what's going on but they can't sit up by themselves. We loved this chair for that. Another little baby container is similar to that for once they're like a little bit older is our foldable, portable, little bouncer activity center that we have. It's outside right now, so I don't have it here to show you, but I'll put some videos of what it looks like. We ordered this on Amazon because we always really wanted to get one of those little activity centers that your baby can like bounce in, but we live in a really small house and we were like, where are we gonna put that when he grows out of it? And so I was like searching on Amazon and I found this one that is a little bouncy activity center that collapses. So great for storage because it just folds up, gets super small, and then you can put it in your storage closet or wherever you need to and you don't have to take anything apart it's just very very simple what i love about this one is that it is outdoor friendly too so we've like accidentally left outside in the rain before but it's waterproof and we probably start using that around like five or six months once they have like pretty good trunk and neck support and they it's another good thing to have like popped up in the kitchen when they want to see what's going on but you kind of need to like contain them to one space. I also love to take to the backyard when our toddler is like running around playing and I need to be like watching him and I don't want her like crawling around our backyard. So I'll put her in that and she'll just bounce around and play with the toys on it and it's amazing. Almost done, I just have a few more things to mention. But the next thing I have on here is this Lalaboo Baby baby carrier. If you follow me on Instagram or if you follow our vlogs, you've probably seen this before. I love this baby carrier. I am a huge, huge fan of baby wraps. That is my favorite way to baby wear is in a wrap. I just think it feels so snug and so comfortable and so supportive. Right around like four or five months is when they just start to get a little bit too big to comfortably wear in a wrap. So the best thing in my opinion to transition to from that is one of these. They are so wrap-like, they're so soft and kind of feel and have that same look as wrap, but with all of the support of like a structured carrier. We also have an Ergo Baby carrier that's like structured. I would never just want to like wear that thing around. That thing is big, bulky, it's ugly. Like it's comfortable and whatever, but it's just not cute. I don't like it, I would never really reach for it. This has like all of the comfort and structure of that while still being really pretty, which 
you know, it's not important to everybody, but I do really appreciate that about it. And the company did give me a code for all of my followers. If you want to use it, you can use the code Ally25 for 25% off. And that is not an affiliate code. I don't get anything from that. It's just for you guys to use if you want it because I love their products so much. I have a few different toys that we really love for this age range too. First one is this little mushroom teether. This is one of the best little baby teether toys ever for this age. You can suction cup this onto like a table or the high chair, or also it's like the perfect little handle that will go over their tiny hand. And then they can munch on this, like chew on for teething. It also almost works as a pacifier too. They can suck on this. I know it doesn't look like much, but everybody who has bought this because I told them to has come back and been like, this is the best baby product ever. Thank you so much for recommending this. Like this is a must have. Another one that she has used so much and has been really great is this little random rattly type of toy. I think I got this at Target, but you can get it on Amazon too. And it's just the perfect little size for her to be able to grab onto these things. It keeps her entertained for so long, looking at all of the colors, moving it around, rattling it. She can teeth on this. We always have this with us in the car seat when we're going somewhere because it really does keep her entertained for a long time. The last must have I have to mention in this video are the Love Every subscription play kits. This is not sponsored, but I do have affiliate links in the description box if you wanna try it. But we just truly love these subscription play kits. They always come with the best toys exactly for like where they're at developmentally. But I just brought over like a few of the ones from her last box to show you. We like love these so much. This little crinkle paper, she's obsessed with. They're just really great high quality toys that you can keep passing down. She plays with some of the toys that Hawk already had when he was little and they just last a really long time. I'm sure you guys have all heard of Love Every before, but I did just want to mention that in this video because it is something that I think is worth it and something that we really love and use every day. Go over my list, make sure I didn't forget anything. So that is everything that I had on my list for the three to six month must haves. If you have anything that you want to add to this list, leave it in the comments so that everybody else can read through. And yeah, I'll make sure to have everything I can linked in the description box if you want to check any of this stuff out. Otherwise, that is all I have for this video today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and I will see you guys all in our next video.